Hello everyone, it's your favorite realtor, Erica Hernandez with Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate, Gary Green. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Monday and I'm very thankful that you're back here with me on my channel watching yet another great video with everything to do with real estate. Today I'm filming from my client's home. We're getting ready to list this house and I thought what a more perfect opportunity to talk to you guys about some of the questions that this homeowner had. If you'd like to learn more about how to determine home values of your home, please stay tuned. Don't forget to follow me on social media at Erica Houston Realtor on Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter, and go to my website at www.ericahoustonrealtor.com. All right, so instead of just sitting right here in front of the camera, I am gonna take you guys around this home to tell you how we determined the value of this home. Many people reach out to me to ask, what can I do to raise the value of my home? And what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna walk you through this home and kind of give you some tips of what this homeowner has done already and what they could have done to further raise their value of their home. At this point, there's just nothing this seller is interested in doing. They just wanna put it on the market, get it sold and move on with their life. So I thought I'd just walk you around and give you some feedback on this so that you can reflect on it if you're thinking about selling your home. If you or anyone you know is thinking about selling their home and wants to know their home value, please reach out to me. There are many resources we use to figure this number out and there's a lot of information we can share with you. All right, so since we're in the kitchen, we're gonna go ahead and start here. Making an investment in your kitchen is going to really return some value of your home. As you guys can see, these are the original countertops. The cabinets are also original. So what this homeowner could have done is possibly updating the cabinets, maybe painting over them to more neutral colors. Right now we're loving grays, we're loving whites, and those are kind of the cabinets that are in and popular at the moment. The market changes and consumers love different things at different times. At this time, people love those neutral colors. They could have also put a little bit of money into updating the countertops so that they can get a little bit more return on their value. You guys can also see they do have original appliances. The hottest thing right now is stainless steel appliances. They really do add value to your home and just make your home look a little nicer, a little newer. And even though your home is not new, it is a new home for somebody else. You have to make sure that you stay on top of the newest and greatest things. All right, so I turned the camera around so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, another thing that I really enjoy about this home and does add a lot of value is that everything that is the common area, such as the family room, the dining, kitchen, and breakfast area are all tiled. Carpet is not very popular and does not really add value to a home, but as you guys can see, this is completely tiled and that seems to be very popular with buyers. It also looks like they did upgrade the fireplace some, so this is actually another good investment. I wouldn't put too much emphasis on updating your fireplace. However, if it is going to be matching the floors, I would definitely try to do that. If you're going to be updating the floors, it'd be really nice to match that with your fireplace. Something else to consider is this open concept is very popular right now. If you're able, I would say opening up walls, making sure that the spaces are very open. If you do have an older home and all the rooms are separated, Right now, 2020, this market really supports the open concept. So if there's any way that you can open up walls or open areas a little better, that's definitely a good investment for the value of your home. All right guys, so I'm gonna take you into the restroom. Some things this homeowner could have done to update their home and up their value is to remove any wallpaper. New modern homes definitely don't have wallpaper. Although they used to be very popular and I've seen a lot of very beautiful wallpaper, it's no longer a popular item. So removing wallpaper definitely is going to be something that's going to help your home. This does help the homeowner that they have a separate tub and a shower. Stand-up showers are actually very popular right now. The tubs are slowly losing popularity. So if you do have a stand-up shower, great. If you decide to do a huge stand-up shower, that is also going to be helping your value. 
Tubs are just not very popular anymore. So if you do have the opportunity to remove the current tub, if you have a tub and shower combo, remove the tub and just do one entire stand-up shower, completely redone, retiled, maybe a glass door, which just really help with your value. Hey guys, I'm here again. So right now we are looking at the bathroom vanity. For the most part, this vanity is going to be doing okay. You can, however, update the countertops if you wanted to, and then just update maybe the coloring on the cabinets. This for me is not a huge return on investment, so I wouldn't spend too much money on trying to update this. If you can find it for the right price, it definitely could be a really great investment. I'm really loving this mirror too. <laughs> Something else is um, these are the original light bulbs. You can actually update some fixtures too. That will make your house a little more marketable. As you guys can see, we do have wallpaper over here as well. Um, the tub and separate shower combo for this house, I would not even mess with it. It's good as is just because you do have the option of doing either or. Um, what I was saying earlier is if you only have a tub that has a shower, you could just do away with the whole tub and do the entire stand-up shower. But since we have both here, I think this is very good we don't have to put too much money into it to get a return you could update some of the tile work here but i don't think it's necessary it's good as is so just as a quick recap putting money into the kitchen is a must if you want to add value to your home if you'd like to add more value i would focus next on the bathrooms so starting with the primary bathroom and then moving on to the guest bathroom and doing some updating there focus on that shower or if you're going to have a tub removing the tub when you update it's just natural to want to update the vanities in the bathrooms it's not necessary and it's not going to give a huge return updating the shower possibly retiling it entirely making sure you have that glass door is definitely going to be adding value to your home we also talked about the flooring in your home. If you currently have carpet, in the bedrooms it's okay, but in the common areas where you're gonna have a lot of people, a lot of traffic, make sure that you update that flooring. Tile's going to be a good investment just because it's so durable, but you can put some laminate flooring, or if you really wanna go the expensive route, some real wood. That would be great as well. That's a really good investment, great on values. Something I didn't talk too much about are the colors on your walls. Make sure that when you're going to be putting your house on the market especially, or to keep that value of your home, make sure all the walls are nice and neutral. Although it is really tempting to paint a really bright red or bright blue, for the time being, if you're living there, that's okay. But if you're thinking about putting your house on the market, make sure you're painting it back to neutral colors. Those photos with those really bright colors, although they look even better in person, in the photos, which are what the consumer gets to see, they're just gonna look a little too bright, a little too busy for people. So I always recommend painting back to neutral colors just to add that value and make your house very marketable to everyone who's purchasing. Thank you guys so much for staying with me throughout this whole video. If you're still here, that means you enjoyed my video, please consider hitting the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any other educational real estate videos. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to see you on my newest video. Have a blessed week.